Hello, everybody. It's Brother Todd, your Victory Minute for Monday morning, uh, Monday afternoon, wherever this thing shows up out there in the Internet land. Uh, we had a great weekend. Uh, lots of folks got word to us and through the counts that we've seen on the on the videos for the worship service and the sermon on this weekend. There's lots of people out there watching in the world. And uh, I know those of y'all that call Victory Home, uh, uh, y'all have been there. You've been worshiping together with your family. Uh, some people told me it's kind of different trying to get the kids to uh, uh, sit down, behave in the living room, have church. But uh, it's a different for all of us, that's for sure. Preaching to an empty uh, sanctuary while I'm trying to think about y'all is something I never have had to do. Uh, but just be praying for me. And uh, talking about praying, there's a couple things I want to talk to you about. Um, we uh, have got some opportunities maybe uh, with some directional things to be able to help with our our staff, our teachers, and everything that we're trying to figure out this week. And so I'd really like you to be praying for uh, praying for us. We want to make sure, doing our best to make sure our teachers and staff and everybody here at the church doesn't have a big uh, financial uh, hit or downfall. Uh, we're working on some of those things right now. The best thing is, honestly, y'all been so faithful to give during this time. Our, our offerings are hardly off at all, and uh, y'all have really blessed and uh but we're looking at now, if you hadn't heard already, uh, President Trump came out yesterday and said that looking at extending all the, uh, all the restrictions and the separation uh, because of the virus, uh, probably another whole month. Uh, we're praying for Easter, be able to be together on Easter. In fact, if we can't, we're working on a, a special little plan for you for Easter, but I can't crack that egg yet because I don't know what it's all, all the details are going to be yet. But uh uh, if we can't meet together, we're going to have something special for you on Easter. But um, but it looks like it could be in the next month. And um, right now we got states canceling schools all through the rest of the semester. And uh, uh, those kinds of things are happening. So we're trying to prepare for those realities. Uh, and if you can, just just please keep, keep praying for us, especially this week. Got lots of... Um, details we're trying to hammer out and uh of course that's going on everywhere but y'all been so generous and good it's it's been uh it's been beyond uh been beyond a help um we uh there's another little old deal i wrote down here i was supposed to supposed to tell you but uh oh i remember what it is i didn't write it down but i remember what it is talking about prayer uh is um uh we're going to try to set up a prayer chain and we ain't got the details on this figured out at all uh, but we're going to try to set it up through the website. And one of the things I'm, that we're going to try to get done out to you here in the next few days, we're going to try to do a 24-hour a day, seven-day-a-week prayer chain like we used to do in the prayer room, except, well, we can't uh, can't be in the prayer room. So you're going to have to be in your own prayer closet. But right now, if you would, just pick you out a time sometime during the day uh, at night or whenever, pick you out a, a, a time and, and make that an hour of prayer, pr 10, 15 minutes, whatever, uh, you feel led to, to pray. I, I don't like to put a length of time on something. I, I like to pray when I start and when I'm done, I'm done. But whether that's an hour, two hours, or five minutes. But uh, just just pray and uh, uh, be praying for our church. You know, life is going on. I mean, that's a reality uh, beyond just COVID-19. Uh, you know, people are experiencing loss. Uh, my, own, my wife, yes, she had an aunt that passed away. Uh, and everything's so messed up with funerals and can't do them and all of that kind of thing. And, uh, uh, you know, people are sick. People got, you know, health and uh, medical, health and medical, I guess, be the same thing, financial uh, situations going on. And uh, so if you can, just 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 be really lifting up each other uh, in prayer. You know, when we started this whole thing, this separation, I, I knew there was three things I had to get across to you, and that's to be connecting to God and to each other. Be be giving, uh, be generous. Don't be stingy. Don't be one of these hoarders. Uh, you know, be 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 pouring out into the people around you. Uh, the churches in the world to be a light. We can we can't even when we're even when we're closed in, we can't be shuttered in. It can't be shuttered off. We've got to we've got to be reaching out and giving and uh, and we want to be praying. Uh, you know, nothing great ever happens till somebody starts praying and. Uh, you know, I was, I was talking to a pastor friend, uh, one of our older retired pastors here in the church uh, this morning, and I said, you know, the thing is, I don't think we're, uh, uh, we, the Lord sure don't have America's attention yet, and I don't even know if he's got the church's attention yet. 
And, uh, you know, and, and he said, you know, I don't want God to have to get my attention. I, I want to give God my attention. So just be, be in prayer. Be praying that great things happen through this most difficult time. Uh, but I, I love you. I'm praying for you. I'll have more of a devotional kind of th those kinds of things for you tomorrow. But, uh, but right now, I just want to kind of make you abreast of some certain things. We love you. I hope you have a great day today. Bye-bye.